first of all, I mean, I think it was really, really nice. It's, you know, he's put, nicely put together, etc. He is a little bit sticky. Yeah. Have you ever written him with earmuffs? Uh, no. I think it would be worth trying that. Okay. Because sometimes when you have those horses that are very, very spooky, if you shave the sound out a bit by using yeah. earmuffs, they are actually much, much better for it. Okay. And you are allowed to use them in competitions. Okay. They're such jumping and cross country if you like to do. Okay. But it would be definitely worth trying it yeah. to see if that's going to make a difference to get you more attentive in what yeah. you're doing. Um, because as you're riding away here, it's a little bit like your hand is caught kind of all the right time having to say, I want your attention, keep your head down, I want your attention, keep yeah. your head down. And your leg have to all the time say, keep going, keep going, keep yeah. going, keep going. And to me, you are a little bit there having to be at him a bit too much. What one would like to see is that he gives to the contact and then goes forward to the leg. So you're already getting better, but what you really want to start doing is that to your leg rather than that. Okay. So you start working from here. And then, play mister, if you can have a bit more, so I like to see horses, don't worry if he takes a step back, that when you give them a contact like this, so you sort of begin with, he just resisted it. Yeah. And then he gave and ca came down. So it is the contact that he gives to, rather than that he is, um, that you're having to um, work with your hand too much the whole time. Once you've got the contact that, like that, if you then need to play a little bit or flex him yeah. or straighten him or whatever, you can do that. Now, horses have got a different tension in the contact that they give you. Yeah. Feeling him there, he gives you very light contact. Yeah. Probably lighter than one would like to have. Yeah. Uh, he might do that all his life yeah. and then you have to accept that that is the contact that he's comfortable with having yeah. and you will have to be prepared to ride him with that light of yeah. contact. Now if he then does that, that he comes in too much so he's um, uh, tacking in behind, you might have to, when you ride, push to get his nose out. You might have to give him a little disturbance so he yeah. comes a bit more there. And then as soon as he comes there, you just feel the contact again because ideally where he's there is where you want to have him. Yeah. And then you have to be prepared to just feel a little bit with your hand what he is doing yeah. and adjust to it, but trying to get out of that you're at him all the yeah. time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Now walking forward.